What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Randy here with RTS Mobile with the Pandemic Corporation, the Silent Alliance and Federation. And I am here today playing some Eve Echoes, and I'm bringing you a fantastic video today. It's actually not me playing. It's my good friend Fukov with the Care Bears with Guns. So this is footage from him. Thank you, Fukov. It's always appreciated when you throw me a bone, and this one is a juicy one. So in today's video, you guys are going to witness me saying stupid things as I narrate this, uh, this fight. Um, so in this fight, we are stripping, uh, the armor off of one of the Firefly Citadels, which we actually, uh, I posted a video earlier today. We actually killed that Citadel, uh, this morning about four hours ago. So three hours ago, somewhere around there. It was a fantastic fight. Could have been two hours. I don't know. It was a fantastic fight. Uh, absolute bloodbath. So make sure you check out those two videos, uh, with that content in it. But here is the prep work for it. Uh, shout out to, uh, you know, Nikers, Jolly, Nihilist, Scipio, everybody, everybody who put in work, Maldez, everybody. I can't even say all the names. There's so many. Everybody who put in work to make this week of devastation for Fireflies uh, <clears throat> kind of culminate at the Citadel fight this morning. But even in, during this fight you're seeing here, that, see, Fukov is now jumping to the next uh, position, next bookmark position, getting ready for the fleet to warp onto him as they seek to evade the uh, the Chinese who are now kind of forming up outside their station. Very nice, very nice. You'll see some cool tactics just like that throughout this video uh, as the Silent uh, Federation completely dominates Fireflies and obliterates their armor in this wonderful video. Uh, okay. Wonderful, I like it. Nice little camera pan there by Fukov. Great cameraman chip, I love it. And here you can see Fukov is flying a large Type 2 bomber. Uh, sorry, a, uh, woo! A Stealth 2. <laughs> Covert Ops Stealth Bomber 2. Because uh, he does have the large torpedoes there, which uh, actually are... The, the uh, Stealth Bomber 2 is one of the highest DPS ships. It blows away most battle cruisers and most battleships as well in straight DPS against a structure like this. So the bomber does immense DPS. Uh, the torpedo explosion radius and explosion velocity are uh, irrelevant against a structure this size. And in fact, I, yeah, his uh, explosion radius is probably around 550 to 600 pending weapon skills. Uh, could be even 650 if he's got lower skills, but uh, with decent skills should be around 600 and uh, I can definitely see the small capsuleer outpost at 750 radius structure uh, And then I believe the corporation citadels are even larger I'm not sure on the exact radius for the soft corp citadel somebody please comment below and let me know how stupid I am and what the number is Thank you Okay, Fugov just jumped to the next point here he is getting ready for his fleet to uh, to attend. Here we go. As you can see, the blues and the purples, they're kind of alternating their jump points here. Nihilist with the next align uh, and follow commands. And now the blue fleet is uh, coalescing onto the warping point. And pretty soon, you're going to see Fukov jump to the next warp point uh, to provide. Here we go. So he's jumping to the next one that is just a few hundred km away, uh, but far enough to uh, really accentuate this guerrilla-style warfare that he's operating in, that this whole fleet is operating in today. So, looking good, looking good. He is just providing new warpins. Here comes the group in just a second. Should be good. Hopefully they don't knock him out of stealth. That's never good, right, when your Kobe gets knocked out? Um, but it happens. It's okay. So it looks like they're getting ready to move. They are grouped up on the last point. They are shooting out uh, pew pews on the station here. And it's looking, looking good. I see a lot of cheaper ships. I don't see anything super duper. Oh, there's some Ferox, uh, Hurricane, Naga. Okay, 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 okay. There are some decent ships here. Okay, I haven't looked at the ships up top until just now, and now I'm checking them out. There's Commander Kane, one of our up and coming fantastic FCs, looking good. Okay, now Fukov is at the next warp point. He is now on the other side of the enemy blob. So this is definitely going to cause some issues with them as they try to uh, make good use of their long-range, uh, slow-targeting ships. 
So as their long range, slow targeting sniper fits, try and lock onto some of these ships. Um, once they finally start doing some DPS, you're already moving and you're already away. It's really fantastic uh, tactics. Great job here. It was a pure clinic. You could say the Silent Federation and friends put on a pure clinic of devastation against the Fireflies in this fantastic video. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Let's get a good shot of the structure here, Fukov. Let me see what you got, baby. Click it. Oh, there it is! All right, so the armor is about halfway down, maybe a little bit less than halfway down. Fukov is off to his next bookmark, pre uh, predetermined bookmark point, getting ready for the fleet to come in uh, and, and join him. Um, and it's ironic, because I did say the, the, the Stealth Bomber 2s are, I believe, the second or third highest potential DPS against a, a hole like this. But um, Fukov is the Kobe uh, warping point, so he's not even shooting. <laughs> Usually he's doing the pew-pew, uh, but I, I am enjoying this, uh, this particular vantage point as well. Really nice with the piano in the background. It was soothing. The sound of my voice probably soothes you to sleep. Uh, that's the, the sound of my voice after I've been talking for the past uh, six hours when we just finished our big CTA, so... Oh, there's an X jumping point. Look at that. Very nice. Very nice. With the broadcast reps. Very good. Very good. Approach commands coming in. How nice and organized is that? Look at that. That's a real testament to the skill level uh, of the command and the fleet overall for this op. Just organization, communication, the things that you have to have dialed in in order for activities like this to happen, you know. These don't just happen overnight. You can't just go to Jita and pick up 15 people and try and do this. This is hours of practice. This is, you know, uh, years of experience in just overall communications, uh, which Nihilus specializes in, by the way. So he's fantastic, doing a fantastic job here. I love it. I love it. Fantastic job to everybody on this op. And everybody on this morning's op where the Citadel was, spoiler alert, completely obliterated. So, enjoy that. Once again, give me that like and sub, and make sure you check out that video. Um, it's actually a two-part video. First, we smashed through a gate camp, one, uh, 140 versus 160-ish numbers, and then we went in, took out the station. It was a great fight. Uh, thanks to our friends from GenFed uh, and ECLA and everybody else, all the friends in Federation who came down uh, to assist. It was a great fight. good okay here we go it looks like the enemy uh, is not really able to do any effective damage because you can even see there are not a lot of wrecks coming up uh, it doesn't look like they're doing an effective job of defending this citadel at all I'm just checking out the uh, the chat there we've got to keep moving to prevent a warp in that's a very good point still banned um, that is one of the objectives with this guerrilla tactic here, is you keep moving around, you stay a moving target. Once you start sitting still, and some of these Armageddons and uh, Oracles have a chance to lock on and really start... I see some... Uh, what's that? What the hell is that? The... Uh, I can't remember the name of the large railgun battleship. The Tul Tulsar or something, I don't know. There it is. So they have a lot of po uh, firepower here. But the, the thing is, I mean, look at a Raven. That thing takes like 20 seconds to lock on. So, again, they have an enormous amount of firepower here. Um, and it's not like we have multiple bubbles. We have, you know, one bubble, uh, a couple Lodgy, but it's this guerrilla warfare tactic that's really uh, taking advantage of these slow lock timers on the enemy uh, battleships. So... The fastest locking ship that they have there is probably the Oracle, which I'm sure uh, Jolly or Niker would be happy to tell you about. <laughs> it's a good one. Uh, yes, uh, Jolly just loves his, his Oracle. Um, but that's really on, one of the only few ships that are able to lock on and get out significant damage as this group keeps moving around. So it's really nice to see how effective that is. Good discipline. Everybody jumps. Uh, sorry, everybody warps over and gets immediately into formation. Gets immediately tight in the bubble. The communication's going. The commands are going. It's just really a clinic. 
Sounds like they're trying to move a cloaky over to our area to get a warp in, so we're going to go ahead and counter that with some more jumps. Get excited. Um, let's see here. I'm interested if uh, Fukov actually takes, uh, comes out of stealth to bomb the Citadel. I'm curious if that's going to happen here. Uh, and in case you're wondering, um, I wanted to narrate this while watching it for the first time, so you are listening to my live commentary as I attempt to... Uh, there's an ex-warping point. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, both groups are doing counter-warping points. Look at that. That was nice. One or two blue stragglers there, but everybody getting counter-warping points. That is gorgeous. I love it. Um, yeah, I wanted to narrate this, uh, watching it for the first time, to really give you my honest commentary. Hopefully I don't say something stupid, which would make you uh, not want to uh, subscribe immediately and love me for the rest of your life. Oh, here we go. Looks like the enemies probably gave up, and we are just consolidating. Oh, Fukov's out. He's punching it. He's punching it. Let's see what some of these damage ticks. Okay, I see some good damage there, and he's got it. He looks like he's got it. Uh, it's not staggered. Wow, 2,900 damage against that Armageddon. That was pretty nice. All right, it looks like uh, he's definitely taken... A huge amount of DPS uh, output against this this Citadel's armor. Extremely beautiful. Oh, tornado down. What's that? Is that the Armageddon that he killed? Look at that! Armageddon down, baby. Or I guess Gingerbread killed him. Very nice. I'll, I'll take it. That Armageddon was nice. 1.4 billion. I'll take it any day. So, very successful op. And you can just see the amount of DPS pumping out of this little frigate is insane. Okay, and uh, putting in perspective... Each one of his missiles, uh, each one of his torpedoes is hitting this, hitting the station for, you know, eight, uh, 1,039 or so, right? Um, or 1,038, sorry. So he's doing like 3,100, uh, damage per rotation, which is pretty good for a frigate for sure. There's an next warp point, look at that, staying ahead of him, there's an next warp point, looking good. Looking good, baby. Uh, and to put that in, into perspective, sorry to finish my sentence there, um... If these same weapons were hitting, uh, let's say, a retriever, or, you know what, we'll use a, a frigate. If these same weapons were hitting a frigate, uh, which has, you know, a much, much smaller SIG radius, you know, 20, 25 to 35 range, uh, you'll be looking at damage closer to, like, 50 or 60 a pop. So that signature radius and explosion velocity really make an immense difference. Um, and in bombing mode, you know, your explosion radius is doubled. He's not in bombing mode now, uh, or his DPS would be higher. But in bombing mode, um, you know, your, 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 your SIG uh, radius for your missiles is so much larger. The overall radius for the explosion is so much larger. Um, against these smaller ships, it just does nothing. But against the capsular outpost, which does have, like I said, um, it does have... 750 or so meters uh, across it, it it gets its full its full uh, bang for the buck very nice we're almost through the armor here it's just getting completely massacred right now uh, a few occasional kills and i don't think i saw more than one or even if any i'll have to rewatch the footage after i'm done narrating i don't know if i've seen uh any real uh blue or purple rex coming up here i think they were able to evade most of the defensive damage which is extremely impressive i'm thoroughly impressed and here we go the armor is almost gone again very nice down to the wire here thanks for watching by the way give me the like and sub thanks again to fukov for donating the footage and uh Love you guys a long time. We're just getting close to the end here, right? The Looks like we're almost out of the armor. I won't make this video too much longer. Thanks for watching. Like and sub again. Randy, out, baby. Love you a long time.